My name is Abhi Sharma. I'm a neurosurgeon with the Cushing Neurosurgery and Spine Center in Phoenix, Arizona. I specialize in all aspects of spine surgery with a special focus on fusion and non-fusion techniques. And today we'll be talking to you about SI joint dysfunction as a source of your low back pain. The sacroiliac joint, or the SI joint as it's called, is where your sacrum, or the part of your spine that ends at the very bottom, connects to your hip or your pelvis, and that's where your ilium is. It's actually the largest joint in your body, and it can be a significant pain generator for a lot of folks suffering from low back pain. Studies suggest that 15 to 30 percent of patients suffering from low back pain have some element of SI joint dysfunction. The anatomy of the joint allows for a rotational emotion and not necessarily anything else. So for folks who have leg length discrepancies, have had prior fusions, prior back surgeries, it can be a significant source of pain because their pelvis doesn't rotate the same at this point in time. And a lot of times you can get arthritis in this joint just like any other joint in your body. Getting in and out of a car seat, getting in and out of a chair, things that change position from sitting to standing or vice versa can often present with SI joint dysfunction and SI joint pain. Another significant pain generator could be individuals who've had prior lumbar fusions. The literature suggests that about 43% of patients who are undergoing SI joint fusions have had a prior lumbar fusion in their lifetime. For every patient who's suspected of having sacroiliac or SI joint dysfunction in my practice, we go through a thorough history and physical examination. The physical examination usually consists of a positive forward and finger test where the patient will literally point on their back where their pain is coming from and five provocative testing where we stress different parts of the pelvis to elicit the same type of pain or slight worsening of the same type of pain that they have been experiencing. If they are to have positive physical examination and history findings, we move on to the second stage for diagnosis where they get two therapeutic injections in the SI joint to further delineate whether that is truly the cause of their pain. Conservative care is the cornerstone of my surgical practice. Every patient who comes into my practice who's suspected of having significant SI joint dysfunction goes through a gamut of conservative measures. Most of the time, folks will go through significant physical therapy and interventional pain management in my practice before a more permanent solution is considered. If a patient fails conservative care, there is a more long-term solution with an SI joint procedure. In my practice, I found great success with the IFUSE procedure, which is a minimally invasive procedure with a small incision and minimal recovery and downtime for most patients. Typically, my patients will come in in the morning, have the procedure, and most likely go home the same day. Post-procedurally, you can expect to have about two to four weeks of lightweight bearing. Most of my patients do exceptionally well from this procedure and recover very, very quickly. I understand that low back pain can be very troubling and disheartening. However, there are treatment options available. I urge you to contact my office today so together we can make you better.